folks, and welcome back to some more Fate Grand Order. On our last episode, we played for quite a long time, our first hour in a bit. So to keep things rather brief, we got to get introduced to a bunch of characters, we eventually got transported back in time to 2004, and we summoned a bunch of servants that I wasn't originally satisfied with, so I did a re-roll as a little bonus video, which is a lot more satisfactory for me. Even if they're not nearly as good, who knows. But then again, we did get a five-star servant in that video, so that's pretty good. Plus, Tamabu Cat! <laughs> She's so adorable. Right, so before we continue henceforth, we're going to be doing some enhancement, and then we're going to be readjusting our formation and what not. <laughs> And anyway, here are all the menus, mix two or more servants to gain XP and raise their level. You can raise the servants to level by combining them with special items. Mix craft essences together will allow them to gain XP and raise their level. You can raise a craft essence level cap by combining them with a duplicate copy. Ascension, you can raise a spirit servant sorry, level cap by combining them with special items. You can raise a servant's noble phantasm level by combining them with the same servant. You can use a holy grail to further increase a servant's level cap beyond their maximum capacity. But yeah, there we go. So, we want to go to Servant. And then we want to put... Now, even though we do have Altera, which is an extremely good Saber Glass Servant, I would imagine, I do want to level up Tamil Cat first. Mainly due to the fact that she is a Berserker Glass Servant, so she's going to be a nice general use Servant. And for if and when we get around to farming daily quests, she might be pretty good. Plus, I've never had a Berserker. Higher than three stars before. So, it's all new to me. Right. So we did get a bunch of free EXP items. Now, what would I like to use? How many, how many levels does she get, actually? Uh, let's just go to OK and find out. Level 12, okay, so we'll get her to around... How much does this get her to now? 15. I'll get her to about 30? 20 or 40. So let me see how much is that per now. 21. Okay. And how many does that leave us with? So 5 gets us to about 21. I think we'll use that for now. Yeah, yeah, and then we'll use some on our shielder as well. That'll be a good idea. Yes, I am okay with this. We also have status up cards, which will increase her maximum stat capacity, but I'm not sure whether or not I want to use them on Tamu Cat for now. Ah, boo! Right, so nice, noise. Next up will be... No, 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 no. Let's select Shielder, because she's a nice general use servant, because she costs zero. And she has no weaknesses. But see, how could I... Resist that mash you. So what's your level cap for now? Fari. That gets her to 19. It gets her relatively close to another level up, right? Uh, do we want to get rid of Mephisto? Do we chuck a Mephisto there? Does that get her to 20? Yes, it does. Okay, you can eat a Mephisto as well. <laughs> I'm more about Medea anyway. Plus, we might just end up getting another Mephisto. No, I like that'll probably be the case. I mean, I've had plenty of Caesars before. There we go. Decent levels to start off with. Right. So, what about some craft essence? Well, we do have two of them, uh, Papacotes. Man service, so we can actually increase the grade of that. Which means it can go up to level 30 or something, right? No, 35. Okay. This could also be a pretty good essence for Mash, I would imagine. At least to make her tankier. But we'll do this for now. And then we'll flick through some more menus, then we'll just start going through the main story again. All the time I will be doing these off screen though, it's just that these are our first initial fiddle abouts. So why not show it on screen? Mm. 
Now this won't get shown on screen the tutorial, but mainly because I had a lot of fiddle off screen. Now, we don't have enough cost to include Altera plus Tamamogat, unfortunately. As much as I would like to do that. Again, the main reason why I want to bring down Cat is because she's a Berserker. She's pretty much strong against everything. She's also weak against everything. But it's the first, you know, area. So it's not going to be that bad. So yeah, I think we'll just leave this as is. Support setup. Who do I want to select as my support? Well, my support saber will be Altera. My support Berserker will be Tamamo. And there we go. But I think we'll start leveling up Altera next up, though. Anyway, let's start with some Fuyuki. Even though we could do some friend summons. But that could always be saved for another time. Right. So that's a main story thing. I think that's a side quest over there, or is it? Yeah, it's a side quest. So that could be relatively quick. But let's just do some more of the main story for now. We have two more to go for here. Now let's support Servant, shall we choose? Oh, John is looking mighty fine, though. You know, it's like John. She actually has, like, extremely good craft essence on her, too, but it won't activate, though, right? It's like one that increases your Noble Phantasm gain by 8%. Anyway, or not gain, it just lets you start off with 80%. By the way, the type of being we call servants, you know what they are, don't you? Uh, I do have some basic knowledge. Glad to hear it. Now I won't have to explain rudimentary things like what a heroic spirit is. Servants are heroes of the past made into familiars. Those who enter into a contract with them and use them are masters. There are seven classes of servants, which vary depending on a servant's legends and abilities. It's incredibly difficult to copy heroic spirit entirely. You and Matrix don't have enough resources or memory to achieve such feats. That's why only one aspect of your spirit is fixed in our world, resulting in seven classes. Saber, Lancer, Archer, Rider, Caster, Berserker, Assassin. Every hero spirit will manifest as one of these classes. You know, excluding extra ones like Shieldzer, Monster, Ruler, and then there's like some other ones like Alter Ego and whatnot. Yeah, you know. <laughs> That's the true nature of servants. There's also a way to hide their true names as well. They hide their names because they are famous. Take Achilles from Greek mythology. Achilles is an invincible heroic spirit, but his weakness is extremely famous, right? My apologies if I'm butchering that name, by the way. When a heroic spirit returns, their weakness returns with them. That's why servants hide the names behind their class names. If you don't know their identity, it... It's be harder, it'd be harder, rather, to figure out their past or weaknesses, right? That's not all. There's another reason for hiding one's true name. A servant has a secret weapon while they of the legend. The crystallization of that hero spirit's miracle in existence. <sighs> and a skeleton man, apparently. Director, sorry to interrupt you while you're having fun, but we've detected hostiles entering combat. What? To detect them out right now. I'll be hiding over there. Oh, you know, we're just completely over-leveled in comparison to this, though. Well, we did take the freebies. Even without them, it would be extremely easy, though. I mean, I would... Like, I'm just saying, I wouldn't be surprised if Tamu Cat were to just one-shot them regardless. Anyhow. Righty-ho. So let's just use a Busta. And Busta Art. Bam! That's one scaly down. We might increase battle speed, actually. Because these battles are going to be nothing too, too special as a present. I mean, that's designed for you to pretty much breathe through it. Uh, sure. You know what? Let's just speed things up. Bang. Put some John in there as well. Oh, maybe did that a bit poorly, though. Oh, the Buster killed the skeleton! Yeah, well, why not crap? <laughs> 
Anyhow, that's about all done and dealt with. Let's just request this friends. Because the reason why I wasn't really doing it last time was just in case of whether or not I wasn't going to be keeping that account. But hey, friends of benefits, right? Right. I was just, my apologies for being a little bit mute there. There was a brief interruption. What shouldn't have happened, but it did. Anyhow, right, so what's the part show it's like next? Oh, Hercules. The seven that we done diddly ditched before for a tabable cat. Right. Uh... Oh! Artoria Altar. She might be pretty cool. All these mashies. Oh, actually, no. Atlante. I want to see what she looks like in game. Because she has, like, cat ears and stuff, alright? <sighs> I could feel the tension across the screen. The director is grumpy as usual. She's just not grumpy. She's a total crank. Why is she always so mad? Well, I can feel some sympathy for director's L temper. Excuse me, but Dave Senpai, there's too much about Chaldea you don't know. Oh gosh, that sounds weird to me. Dave Senpai? You really think so? I really don't know what to do with you. It's like you're a lost little kitty. Well, not that many different. It's been about two years since I started here, and I still don't get it. I kind of sneaked in, almost like an alligator. Is that right? Yes, I've learned as much as I can from the database, but I'll share it with you. Chaldea is a security organization, or more accurately, this is a security organization for the preservation of humanity, Venus Chaldea. A research observatory with the purpose of continuing and strengthening human history, with researchers and scholars and mages from all around the world. They watch a world that magecraft couldn't observe, and science couldn't measure. We're a special organization of national support, created to prevent humanity from reaching a bad end. <laughs> oh, you mean all the dead ends that have happened in the uh, extra? <laughs> you sure know a lot, Mash. Anyway, that's pretty much it. Oh, the flashes. Boo! It's true that Chao receives financial support from across the globe, but the majority of that comes from the Mages Association in London. From the Animosphere family. Director Olga Mary's family. Chaldea is a research organization, but due to its importance, it operates on a military level. There are extremely strict rules and punishments for everything, so the director's attitude is actually reserved. The director isn't a felon, but she is evil. She'll get rid of any staff member she doesn't like. Well, I'm not sure if it's okay to call someone who's got a bad attitude evil. Sorry, I wanted to give you some encouragement, but I'm not used to cheery words. Wait, was that somebody else that was saying evil? Oh, no, 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 no. For some reason, I thought that was Romani. <laughs> cue! Cue, cue! Oh! What? Hey, what are you guys doing? Behind you, behind you. The, the enemies found us. More spooky, scary skeletons. Prepare for battle. They're so close, Senpai. Give me your orders. Uh, hell until it dies. I, th I think that's a pretty good order. Kill the scaly wellies! Oh, Alante looks pretty cool. There's a nice deep voice. Alrighty. Uh, do -do 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 -do. Bust yeah. Oh, dang. Six rounds of damage. Well, she is strong against the Saber Glass. Who oh, dang. Oh, this one's dangerous, apparently. We can't be having that, eh? You know what? <laughs> Why not? Buffer attack! A bada bing! A bada bing? There we go. That was the vice. Oh, yeah, most certainly. Dang, we're just blazing right through here. No, that, that isn't a bad thing. I do want to log daily quests, though. Do I want to request a friend request to a sifter, as redundant as that sounds? Uh, why not? Burp. <laughs> a random flood from Dave. <sighs> Please keep an eye on your surroundings. Even if Romani is monitoring us, this is a singularity. There's no telling what might happen. 
Come here, Kiri Light. You're hot, aren't you? I can tell something like that. I, I don't think she was even touched. Oh, right. Thank you very much, Director Ogamara. Really, now, when the director is calm, she can be dependable. Dave, you should know, the director is in a complicated position as well. Initially, Murray was like you all, a master candidate. Three years ago, the previous director, her father, passed away and she had to take over Chaldea when she was just a student. Since then, it's been one tense day after another. She had to take over as head of the Andamusphere family. It was all she could do to keep Chaldea running. Around that time, an anomaly was found in Chaldea's. We could no longer see into the promised future of a hundred years from now. There was a huge criticism from the association and our sponsors. She was ordered to get the situation back to normal as soon as possible. To make matters worse, they found that she had no aptitude to be a master. The noble atmosphere family, one of the twelve lords, the dominated faculty or faculty, is it faculty? I think it's faculty, right? Blah, butchering my own language. Anyway, of astronomy at the Mages Association. Oh, the scandal that would occur if the head of such a family was found to be unfit to become a master. You can imagine the level of gossip happening behind the scenes. I'm sure those rumors reached Mary too. She still worked to be her absolute best as a director. This last half year, she's just been barely hanging on. She's worked herself so hard I'd like her to come for counseling, but of how things are, in any event, she's been emotionally stretched to the limit. She doesn't hate you or anything like that. I was just having fun. No, I know Director Mary isn't an evil person. I'm glad you think so, but you know she is evil, right? She isn't cruel. Cruel, bleh. Nefarious, and whatever the heck the other one was. Like, dishonest, yeah. That I can promise you. She's just a rather serious person. Anyhow, you're the only free I can trust right now. I want you to continue investigating without fighting. And then, you know, more scales are gonna appear out of nowhere, right? My same quads! Sick Horse has been sent your present box. Wait, what? What? Give me that. More Sick Horse. We can always do another 10 summons, anyhow. Right. Do, 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 do. Wow, level 70, John! Oh my lordy! Some people have been grinding. All these Johnnies. Oh, the. Oh, that's a lot, though. Oh, my favorite Berserker? Why the heck I'm not? Right. As a support, that is. Oh, I'd love to have a Lancelot. Anyhow, let's start the quest. Investigate the port ruin. Oh! The hostile life form has been removed. Let's move on. I don't know what happened with that monster, but I expected nothing less of a seventh body. Such power. Not that it makes them look any less scary. By the way, Director, I have a question for you. The Fuyuki and Ardea and this Fuyuki are just too different. What happened in the say exactly? What are your thoughts, Director? Let's see. History must have been slightly disrupted. That's the only reason I can think of. Mash, Dave, I'm only gonna say this once, so listen up. Chaldea observes the future through an Earth model called Chaldea's. At the same time, a familiar called Lapwis compiles past records. You can say it is Lapwis's job to gather data on history. That was made public, and information that was buried in darkness that no one knows. According to Lapwis's observations, an unusual Holy Grail War was confirmed in the city in 2004. Holy Grail War? You mean Holy Grail from the legends? The magical chalice that is the root of all magecraft? The one that is said to grant its holders wishes? Yes, that's the one. Mages at Fuyuki Sei compete for the Grail, and in order to activate it, it summoned seven heroic spirits. That was the beginning of the Holy Grail War. Unknown to anyone, Sevens were summoned to this town. The Fuyuki Holy Grail War system is simple. Seven masters fight each other, the last one standing gets the Grail. Chaldea learned about this in 2010. My father, I mean, the previous director used this data to build the summoning system. That's what makes him Chaldea's heroic spirit summoning system, Fates. A third invention after Lapos and Chaldeas. Third? Isn't that the near future observation lens, Shiva? That was created by Professor Life. Well, I guess you can say we both worked on it. Anyway, this is where servants come from. Seven servants fought here, and in the end, Sabre was victorious. The town wasn't destroyed, and the servants shouldn't have been noticed by anyone, but... Now this is happening, we should assume that the outcome changed due to this singularity. The anomaly in 2004 brought about an alteration to human history, and as a result, we're no longer able to see a hundred years into the future. That's why it's our job to repair this anomaly. Somewhere here is the reason has been... Oh, reason history has been disturbed. 
Once we analyze and eliminate it, that will complete our mission. All of us will be able to return to the present. I see, got it. Anyway, although we're not sure what's going on, it's good that the mission is simple. And more scallies. Not these guys again. Get rid of the mash. Dave. And Tamamo. And now Lancelot. I guess we have a figure head at the back too. <laughs> oh, I saw I was looking fine in this game. Alright, so. A buster. And another buster. And why not a quickie too? Whack him with that path. Round two, more skelly wellies. Alright, so uh, a buster. A buster. And uh, uh, I, I think a buster. Let's play this enormous week because I want to see Lance Olsen's animation a little bit clearer. It's probably just a jump hit though, right? As busters normally are for quite a few characters. Meh. Meh. <laughs> The slashing sound effect does a bit odd. That works, right? Hey. Next. Ooh, don't want to request a Lancelot. Um, yes. Give me the him. <laughs> we can always squid up the friends list if worse comes to worse, of course. Right. Investigate the port room. Once again. Whoa, what type of craft essence is that? No clue. But you know what? Well, yes, Dracinius's mash. <laughs> Get all those friend points, right? Double bash is gonna be so weird, though! It's like, you have a bash, and I'll have a bash. Let's smash! <laughs> Oh, yep, who would have funk? Okay, uh, Buster? How am I supposed to tell which one is which? Oh, okay, yeah, the support tag, of course, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I got confused for a brief, I was just like, which bash is which? Okay, Buster and Buster. I want to see Tomo Cat's art animation, though. It's probably a red card, though. Because I know most of her cards are Buster. I mean, that pretty much comes with the trait of being a Berserker, but right? Anyway. Well, I think you shall receive, apparently. Art. Buster. That's some quick. Ooh, that was so close to killing it! 8 HP! Now, I know this is wasteful. I very much know this is wasteful, but since we have an opportunity, I really want to see Tamu Cat's Noble Phantasm. So let's increase one of our servants' Noble Phantasm gauge by 100%. Because I think by the time we'll actually like, require these command seals for a potential revival, or just for a bit more upfront damage. Because they restore on a daily basis, I believe. Um, we could just use a... Like, uh, they'll be recuperated by then, that's what I'm trying to say, yes. Um, yes. Anyway, right. Now I want to see this Nova. It's a quick one. Napping in the dazzling sunshine and feasting. Also, all these mashies. Senpai? What? <laughs> that was a bit brutal! So, she does a self stun as well, but she also regens health afterwards. You know, I'd be all for that Noble Phantasm if it was a buster. Oh, could you imagine if that was a buster? That'd be like one self-sustained berserker, eh? That'd be pretty dang good. 
Because you just get like something that increases buster damage. You get like a support server that can cure debuffs. I'm gonna assume they'll be able to cure stun, maybe? Who knows? Anyway. Phew, the battle's over, Master. I'm relieved that we pulled through again. Good work, Mesh. Yes, I am happy that I could be useful. Hey, Mash, is it possible that you can't use your noble phantasm? Apparently, I don't even know what hero, what hero spirit fused with me. I am unable to use the power of its special arts, the hero spirit's secret weapon, known as a noble phantasm. Dave Senpai, I'm sorry for explaining this so late. Servants are equipped with a unique skill called a noble phantasm. It's derived from each hero's legend and great deeds. It has a secret weapon. However, I am able to wield my noble phantasm. I could somehow use it as a weapon, but its output is decreased. I can't even release its true name. In fact, I don't even know what the origins of this weapon of mine might be. Huh. In any case, you can think of me as a failed servant, or maybe just a capable Kohai that can get even stronger. I don't have any leads on the heroic spirit that fused with me, but if you as my master, I'll figure it out as I grow. That's true, masters have the ability to analyze the servant's parameters, scales, and matrices. Dave, as a master, once you become good enough, you should be able to analyze Mashi's servant data. Any servants you make a contract with from this point should be the same. First, you need to learn their true name, a noble phantasm. As your trust with them grows, your servant's power will grow too. Well, it's not like you have that much potential in you. The fact that you can't use Mash that well shows that. Rude! Once we get Child Data's ratio of capability back online, we're going to shift a first class master here. Well, then, you're fired. No reason no combat experience can spend their time terrified at some corner Child Data. Why aren't you this one scared, Director Mary? Damn, Sasser Boy! I wasn't, not in the least. You should be respectful to your elders. Anyway, I'm glad you two understand each other better now. Let's make before any more of them show up. Meh! Yeah, move on. Oh! Whoa! A one star XP item! <laughs> another one! And another one! And another one. And another one! Okay, I think we get the picture. <laughs> right! Hmm, should we do a tiny bit more? I think we should. I kind of want to bring out Terra here, though, just to see what she's about. Because I haven't seen her endgame either. So let's do that right now. Do, 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 do. do we have enough cost yet? No, we're missing two points. Because even if I were to try to... No, one point will rephrase that. I can't count. Ah, <laughs> so close. I want to be able to use both of these. Well, we'll just put Tamil Cat in the back because I still want to get bond points. Oh, wait. That's not even going to work, no. No, 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 no. Eh, we'll just wing it as is. That'll be fine, right? Actually. Wait, 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 wait. Let's speed her some XP whilst we're here then. Why not? Because we got the level 1 XP items, so at least that's something for Altera. Plus, we've still got one of these. Let's use one of these. Uh, let's just use... These, I suppose. That'll get her to level 13. That's certainly something. Makes her a little bit more usable. And there we have it. Okay, right, so can we equip a craft essence on our... Let's find out. Ah, uh, no, 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 no. Uh, let's just use this, I suppose. Yeah, we could use that, okay. Easy does it. Right, of course. Right, next up, investigate the church ruin. Oh, Cuckoo Lane or Amia. <laughs> a much higher level Dalterra. Oh, Troll Kun. Kiyohime. Just picking up something. Oh. Artoria, though. <laughs> Double Sipa! There are going to be archers here, though. There's not going to be a Beggy. Everything's bought down as far as I could see. 
Not any traces of resins either. What happened here? What could even turn Chaldea grey in the first place? If we can't see the future, that means humanity will vanish. Could that mean the Count of Foss doesn't work in a singularity? Then this place is like a bolt. The veil trails of destruction scattered throughout human history. When your choices become mistakes, this is what happens. Looks like the traitor has talked to herself again. This could take a while. Hey, Scoutus, can you appear already? Hey, Dave, looks like it's safe over there. Why don't you rest a bit? I agree with you, Doctor. Senpai, would, like... would you like some rations? Thanks, aren't you tired, Mash? Tired? Are you asking if I've been having any problems since I became a servant? Well, for the most part, it's scared to fight, but I'm doing fine otherwise. Are you okay with me being your master? Of course! I think you might have been the best master this summer. <gasps> That's enough rest! We got incoming! Master your commands, please! Oh, the summary! Eh? <laughs> totally, totally the best master. I am the master of masters. I am the level 1 skeleton slayer. Oh, and it's already another level 4. What does this do again? Oh, no phantasm strength. And let's use some odds. Yeah, let's get some more of that. It's so weird having Altria and Altera as names, though. Like, Altera's fine. Because that's her name. But, like, Altria for Artoria? I don't know. I don't know how to feel. Also, already 50%. If there's enough enemies and we get art cards, then we could actually use our Noble Phantasm here, which would be fantastic. Oh. Well, if there is a well, there is a way. Um, let's just... No, it's not this. I want to use this to get more Noble Phantasm. Here we go. Do -do 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 -do. That middle one should left. I have my doubts, actually. Guys, it's an attack up. Oh, that's cool, though. Okay, I'm digging your attack animations, Altera. Oh, that was so much damage. I mean, it was a triple buster chain. Oh, predict the future with that. Hmm. Anyway, right. No, we didn't get the arts. Well, may as well do whatever, Riley. Really. Ooh! Taking all Terra's, you know, animations. The Prey Flashy. Plus, I will admit that I did like her sci fi flair that she had in Extella. That was the only cool part about her. Plus, without divulging too much about the story, because I know there's some people who have probably yet to play it, I would say that her character really did grow on me. Eventually. Eventually. <laughs> uh, do I want an Altria? No, I'm sorry, Artoria. Mm, yes. Be my friends. <laughs> Give me Artoria! Right. So... Next up... Ooh, a Vlad the Third, eh? That's another Berserker for the Berserker Lord. You know, yeah, we'll do one more mission. So let's start this up. For you, thank goodness we managed it yet again, Master. I see you again used to being a servant. It's because now that you know that what we're up against, you're not afraid anymore? I don't know about that, no matter how good I am with my weapon. When it comes to the battle itself... Sorry, let's talk later. The three of you need to get out of there now. I'm still picking up something, and this is... Oh! What is that? A servant is there! Don't fight it, Dave! Mash, it's isn't for you to fight a servant! Even so, we can't escape. Mash, prepare for battle. As a servant, you can do something about, right? Yes, I'll do my best. Oh... Where's my time will get? Eh? <laughs> that would have probably like two shot it. Then again, we do have lads. That's only level 13. 
You know, I have a feeling that Vlad will one shot though, because he's level 50. Let's refrain from using Vlad for now, though. Because that was the fight would literally end in a single turn. I mean, it almost did already. Oh, dang, that was a crap. <laughs> that berserker weakness, though. All these arts, though. Eh. Well, odds oh, quick, quick. That should be good enough. Ooh, that flat. Nasa, Nasa, Altera. Dang, I want to get more XP cards for her, though. Oh, we got some Rider things or those Lancer things? Ooh. Yes, I would like to request your friendship. I mean, even as a Kaleidoscope as well. Dang. Okay, okay. We won. I was sure I didn't stand a chance, but we actually won. Sorry, there's no time to rest, Mash. I sent our signals before it's in that way. I don't have to tell you what you need to do, right? What? Same second, oh? No way! Dave, retreat! Hurry up! We've got to get out of here now! And we're bailing! And we got another quartz. Well, that's certainly something, is it not? Right, right. So I guess before we end off this episode, I'll do one batch of friend summons, I think. Still gonna save the quartz for these summons, though. Preferably when we've done a good amount of story to unlock some more servants that we'll be able to summon. Or when there's an event. One of the two things, really. I would like to summon for free, yes. We have 10,000 friend points as well. If and when we need to spam them. It's mostly just low rarity stuff that you get from it, though. Did I accidentally skill over something? Oh! Kojiro! Mataharo. Okay, so we got two servants. The rest were just things like craft essences. <laughs> that means it'll be fodder, right? Well. <laughs> Those are always useful, though. But that's for Ryder, though. Then again, we do have a Ryder that I could consider using. I do really dig the fact that we got Kojiro though. More fate stain I gosh dang. You know let's do a little bit more summoning actually. So we'll actually spend some points now. Okay, maybe we could get another new servant. That would be nice as well. Oh, a berserker, Eric Bloodaxe, and that's all we got. Ooh, free star XP for Saber though. Is this for Ryder? Oh no, this is all of them. Yeah, okay. So we got all of them. We got status up for a Saber as well. Oh, what's this draft essence to? Oh. Increase your noble phantasm strength by 15%. Eh, might be decent. <laughs> okay, right. No, 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 I'm sorry, I have to do one more. I'm really curious now. You know, free summons is something, right? It's not going to be as high quality as the Saint Force, though. Oh, there we got another assassin. We got Henry. And more Fu. Lancer Fu. Hmm. Wait, is that a blade of... Yeah. That's off blade. Okay. Servant. Assassin. Shared and Sanso. Shokan Yoji. Sanjo Shimashita. So Charles Henry Sanson, eh? Oh, not too, too bad, right? 
So it looks pretty nice. Right, well then, folks, I think this is a pretty good time to end up this episode of Fate Grand Order. It was an anything too fast for that happened. But of course, we're only in the first singularity, so it's not going to be anything too special. Other than skeletons, really, for the most part. I mean, every RPG has to have their basic enemies, right? <laughs> Whether it be rats, goblins, or in this game's case, skeletons. Maybe it's like a holy trinity of sorts. But anyhow, folks, thank you all for watching this episode of Fate Grand Order, and I'll see you all next time. Ta-ta for now.